But before you enjoy a heavy donut dessert, how about a flavorful, light, and satisfying dish that is sure to impress the masses? Joining me now in the Price Chopper Kitchen is Westport Cafe owner and executive chef Homa Monrayer. Bonjour. Bonjour. Thank you for being here. Thank you. What are we making? Well, first of all, tell me this. You're so young. You've been cooking since you were 16. 16, yeah. Uh, I've been to Korean school during six years to learn how to serve food, how to make food, uh, in this wonderful uh, Korean school in France, east of France, yeah. And then you came here on an internship to Kansas City. Yes, five years ago, and I really love the city and the people here, and I uh, decided to, to come back and, and buy the restaurant with uh, my business partner, Kevin. That's incredible. Yeah. And you say when your family visits you from France, they're yeah, like, every year. why isn't anybody walking? Because yeah. they're in America, we're driving cars like pretty much to your next door neighbor's house. Yeah. You get in the car and go next door. Yeah, everybody's driving, it. nobody walking. <laughs> Tell us about what you're making right so now. So we really have um, a chorizo and cabbage. It's going to be the, the garnish for the salmon dish. Mm -hmm. uh, so I like the flavor of chorizo and the, the fish is go well together. It's bringing a little bit of spice. Um, we have the salmon from the, the Faroe Island. So it's a, it's a salmon, a farm raised um, uh, it's between Iceland and Norway. Mm -hmm. It's a great salmon, I really like it. And we have with that some uh, yogurt sauce. So yogurt sauce with the salmon goes very well. It's very uh, fresh and healthy for the summer. Uh, what do you put in the yogurt sauce? So we put chives, lime juice, uh, and salt, pepper, olive oil. Very simple. Is this one of your signature dishes at Westport Cafe? Um, not really, but we try to change the salmon every uh, menu. Uh, but this one has been very popular recently because and we just ch change it. Yeah. What inspires you to come up with these recipes? Just the, the memories from my childhood and uh, this, the salmon dish is from my stepmother. She loved the the salmon with the yogurt sauce. I was thinking about this dish, but my grandmother is uh, the best chef I know. So your grandma is she yeah. still with us? Is she yeah. in France? Yeah. She's so in France. what does your grandma think of you moving to Kansas City and then opening your own restaurant or buying um, your own restaurant? She she's very uh, impressed, but she doesn't really know where is Kansas City. Sometimes she's confusing <laughs> with Texas and Kansas. <laughs> oh no, you don't want to do that. So, so we're a map and point right to Kansas yeah. City. Tell her that's where the good stuff happens. But she's uh, really excited about what we're doing here. Has she been to visit you yet? No. no. You're going to get Granny on the plane? Yeah, I just go there or every gonna, year. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably easier. So once you have the salmon cooked in the skillet and you've done the chorizo and the cabbage um, base, then what do you do? Uh, we're just gonna start plating. We have this uh, brown lime, so it's go. What you do to the lime? So we just like cook it uh, both sides in olive oil, and, and if I hold this up for yeah. a chance, and the customer you can just. You somehow made like a lime look pretty too. Yeah, yeah, I really like it. Uh -huh. And the customer can squeeze the lime at the end to bring like the, the last uh, acidity to the what's, dish. What's what's the silver disc for? So is, we're gonna put the the cabbage in a, in this ring, and. Part of the plating process. Yeah, it's part of the plating. It's different. It's interesting how different something can taste just based on how it's plated. The visual, how a meal appears to you, can make the whole difference. Yeah, the the visual is very important. All the color, we need to have like a different color. We're gonna bring with the Fresno and the Jalapeno, and yeah, people really like to to see the visual at Westport Cafe because we always try to make like great visual mm -hmm. and. Like you start to eat with your eyes, it's we like say in France. Art. Yeah. Eat with your eyes. Yeah. Is there a food that you've had here in Kansas City that you've fallen in love with that you were like, where has this been my whole life? Um, well, I tried to, for the first time, fried chicken and barbecue here. <laughs> Wait, you hadn't had fried chicken Never before? Never fried chicken before. Uh -huh. Where'd you get it? Um, I get at the restaurant first from uh -huh. the the brunch. We have a good fried chicken. Yeah. And uh, I really like it. It's not the dish I will uh, I will cook every day and eat, but I really like it. And the barbecue is very famous here. I didn't yeah. know anything about barbecue, so it's pretty good. I like uh, Oklahoma Joe's and uh, Q39. Oh, that's good. You yeah. like good taste. Yeah. Obviously, you're the French chef, so you're gonna have good taste. So the final, the final. Uh, so we're just gonna put the do. sauce. Like this, the yogurt sauce. And oh, you do a little swirl there. Yeah. 
And we're going to season the radishes at the end with some olive oil, a little bit of salt. Olive oil. Chives. Salt and chives on the radishes. Very simple, all, all the, every time. Homa Monrayer, the owner and executive chef of Westport Cafe. This looks incredible. Thank you so much for being here and congrats on all your success. Yeah, thank you very much. Really happy to have you here in Kansas City. Oh, it looks so good. And oh, one more thing. What's that? Uh, this is sorrel from Missing Ingredients. It's a farm downtown. We're going to put some tarragon powder. It's like a painting. It just gets prettier Cilantro, and prettier. Cilantro for, from Woodland Farm. We try to, to, to use a local product. And, and let me hold. Oh, we, do we have a good, clean shot of this? Yeah. Look at this. This is stunning. Thank you, Homer. Yeah.